Alabama Senator Tommy Tuberville, everybody. You know, the, our government wasn't set up to, for one group to have all three of, of branches of government. It wasn't set up that way. Uh, or, or, or three branches, you know, the House, the Senate, and the, and the executive. Now, the three branches are, of course, the executive, the legislative, which is both the House and the Senate, and the judiciary. You know, as I tell people, my dad fought 76 years ago in Europe to free Europe of socialism. Quick fact check, Dana. World War II was fought to defeat the Nazis, who were fascists. Fascism. I mean, a, a senator should know this. It is truly depressing to see someone as clueless and morally bankrupt as Tuberville ascend to one of the most powerful roles in government. But when the system incentivizes the worst people to sell their constituents' souls to the highest bidder, a mediocre former college football coach turned senator is what we get to work with. You agree that white nationalists should not be serving in the U.S. military. Is that what you're saying? If, if people think that a white nationalist is a racist, I agree with that. I agree they A white nationalist is someone who believes that the white race is superior to other races. Well, that, that's some people's opinion. This brutal interview gives some pretty poignant insights into why Tuberville is pushing the narrative that our country's involvement in World War II was to defeat communism and socialism. If somebody wants to call him white nationalist, to me, is an American. It's an American. Now, if that white nationalist is a racist, I'm totally against anything that they want to do because I am 110% against racism. Nothing says being against racism quite like defending white nationalism and rewriting the definition in real time. Well, that's just a name that it's been given. I mean, it's not, let's, it's, listen, a real, it's a real definition. There's real concerns about extremism. So if you're going to do away with most white people in this country out of the military, we got huge problems. It's not, we it's got not, huge problems. It's not people who are white, it's white nationalists. That have a few probably you see different the beliefs. right? That have that have different beliefs, but, but that there's is, a lot that of is people a white, that believe in different things. Is racist, Senator? Well, th that's your opinion. That's it, your opinion. But it's if it's racism, opinion. if it's racism, I'm totally against it. While Tuberville is obviously a complete buffoon and moron, he is smart enough to know who signs the checks and the mindset of the voter base he is speaking to, which makes appearances like this, as well as the following Fox News spot that much more damaging. We're going through the, the, the open borders that Kamala Harris herself has been in charge of. I mean, how can you put somebody in charge of a, a situation where you let 15, possibly even 20 million people come into our country? And this is exactly what we're talking about. Tuberville is playing directly into the bigotry and racism of the Republican Party's white nationalist voter base to stoke fear and paranoia about a completely manufactured narrative. The problem isn't migrants and immigrants coming into the country. It's our woefully inept immigration processing and legal infrastructure that has given Republicans an ideal angle of attack against Kamala Harris and the Democratic Party. Well, there's no excuse for Tuberville's blatant racism in calling most migrants garbage. The Dems should know better and message more effectively against talking points like this. If Harris and other prominent Dems begin to describe what Trump's mass deportation platform would look like in practice, with concentration camps, state-sponsored kidnappings, legalized racial profiling, expanded power for law enforcement and the military, vigilante violence, and all the horrors and human suffering involved in the process, more independent, centrist, and never-Trump Republicans may think twice about what they're voting for and not for the lesser of the two evils. Sweden, Germany, Italy, France, Britain, they've all been overrun by immigrants. They've changed their lifestyle. They've changed their country. They've changed their laws. They want that to happen here. They want to be like-minded with the Democrats, the Socialist Democrats here that are headed in that direction for our country. So uh, it's all a plan. It's all a plan started with Barack Obama transitioning the country to something else. Case in point, to an uninitiated or less politically inclined viewer. Tuberville's false assertions here seem like facts despite him co-opting one of the most pervasive white nationalist propaganda talking points, the Great Replacement Theory. But if the viewer never learned about, heard of, or dissected Tuberville's words in real time like we are now, the underlying white nationalist sentiment is masked by his whining about Dems being socialists and blaming Obama for our descent into socialism. We would be a lot more charitable to Obama if that was anywhere near the truth. We want to help the American people, but Chuck Schumer says, nope, 
I'm not bringing it to the floor. He wants an omnibus. He wants to spend billions more dollars on these uh, sanctuary cities to help out these governors and mayors to get reelected. It's embarrassing how this place is run. And if we don't change, we don't change this election cycle, Maria, it is over. The America that you and I grew up in is over. This is very disturbing to hear a sitting senator say this. Uh, I tell you, this is definitely the conversations that I have, too. My friends are like, we're losing the country uh, because of this wide open border. And when the media is actively working hand in hand with you to propagate fear driven falsehoods like this, you can see why our country is in the dire strait it's currently in. If you can and are willing, please become a paid member here at TYT Sports and or go to tyt.com slash join. In addition, you can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Appreciate it. Have a great day.